pride, purpose, passion, channeling the warrior within. Mediocrity is not welcome here. Tonight, the stars of Impact Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling come together. This is their personal proving ground to look inside. Discover the hidden power within. Seize with absolute conviction a strength greater than ever imagined before. I'm back with one goal in mind. The New Japan Strong Women's Championship. I am the pinnacle of the knockout division. Tonight is about rising higher than they ever have risen before. Of a generation, now the face of Impact Wrestling. One of the greatest IWGP Heavyweight Champions of all time. I'm going to show you why now I'm the best in the world. Tonight, these stellar athletes from opposite sides of the globe battle. Worlds collide, legacies emerge. Tonight, they take flight. There's a good way to kick off a show like this. It's featuring two of the signature divisions from both companies. The X Division from Impact Wrestling. The Junior Heavyweights from the Japanese wrestling side of things. And starting things off with Mao coming to us from DDT Pro Wrestling. A standout, someone who's been on the rise the last couple of years. You're going to want to watch this guy. We saw Mao debut for New Japan at the All-Star Junior Festival right here in the arena. Now he debuts for Impact Wrestling. And of course, last night in this very building at New Japan's All-Star Junior Festival, Mao and El Desperado defeated the team of Nick Wayne and Jordan Oliver. Tonight, though, El Desperado is also in this match, and as you said, it is a scramble match. It's every man for themselves. Thank you. What's good, King? And one man, you see him there, Tom, he grasped at his arm a little bit. Beta, we were both here last night, part of the All-Star Junior Festival tournament. So not only wrestling twice, got jumped by Clark Connors after his first round matchup, continued to fight, and then had that main event match with Mike Bailey putting everything on the line, everything he had into it. So I have to imagine Kevin Knight, as impressive as he is, coming in a little beat up. Kevin Knight, another athlete here at Multiverse United 2, who kind of straddles the world between New Japan Pro Wrestling and Impact Wrestling. Of course, a product of New Japan, but has really been shining in Impact lately as well. It was stellar this past Thursday night on Access TV in a matchup against Moose. That was impromptu, but Kevin Knight nearly knocked off the former Impact World Champion. Speaking of former Impact World Champions. Yeah, if you want to talk about someone who represents Impact Wrestling, he has seen it all, done it all, and now he is here again as part of this X Division Showcase Scramble. Rich Swan and Sammy Callahan, extremely disappointed in what went down this past Thursday night on Access TV. The Rascals cheating to win in the Tag Team Title Tournament Finals. It'll be the Rascals up against Subculture for the Impact World Tag Team Titles Sunday, August 27th at Emergence. And I can't wait to see it. It's going to be a good night for the boys and the Rascals. But right here in the X Division, we're picking things up as it is. Another standout from the junior heavyweight division of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Yo, clad once again in the denim, out here to make an impression. Double denim, baby. Double denim with snaps. All right. 
Nothing like wrestling in denim in Philadelphia in August in 80 plus degree heat inside the 2300. Well, talking about the X Division, Yo actually is a former teammate of current X Division champion Leo Rush. They won the Super Junior Tag League together last year. I wonder how Yo feels about Rush's latest actions. Yeah, it seems like they're not going to be teaming back up anytime soon. We'll see Rush in action later on tonight in a special tag team match. You talk about Leo Rush, though, if you want to talk about X Division champions, Frankie Kazarian. To your point, a five-time X Division champion. Yeah, and even beyond the championship, just really the uh, one of the archetypes, one of the just originators of the X Division style, someone who is so associated with it, and it is just really cool to see him back, not only in Impact Wrestling, but here as part of this X Division Junior Heavyweight Showcase. A pioneer, you have to wonder where his head is at lately, though, Tom, considering everything he's gone through with Eddie Edwards. Now we get to see the glue man of LIJ, a core member of the group who kind of can work with almost anybody. But right here tonight in this scramble, it is all about him. It is every man for themselves. And you can see all the players filling in at ringside, inside the ring. And it's gonna be, this is gonna be hectic. No count out, so disqualifications. First man to gain pinfall or submission in the ring will be declared the winner. And like we often say, you have to imagine with a matchup like this, considering all the talent involved, whoever wins is gonna have a definite conversation about the junior heavyweight or X-Division championship in their company. And a man who knows a whole lot about the X-Division championship is that man right there. Yeah, someone who definitely wants to get back into the conversation because it's debatable how he lost that title. And Veda, I have to agree with you. And Chris Saban, months ago at Slammiversary, Scheduled for a title defense against Leo Rush. Leo Rush jumped Chris Saban before the bell. It appeared that Chris Saban should not have competed that night. The officials were trying to back him off and convince him not to compete that night. And Chris Saban is a hell of a competitor, nine-time X Division champion, went ahead and did it anyway. And Leo Rush took advantage and took the title. Yeah, I wasn't surprised to see that Saban wanted to gut through it. I was surprised to see Leo Rush take full advantage. But we will see Leo later. Now in this X Division scramble, if we're talking about elite level junior heavyweights, El Desperado continues to make his mark, not just in New Japan, but all over the globe. Someone who intends to embody every aspect of professional wrestling from death matches to here in the junior heavyweight division. But, but interestingly but, enough, yeah, yes. Yeah. I'm sure you were getting the same idea I was. I think this is his first ever scramble match. I believe so. Tom, Matt and I were talking about this last night during that uh, Philly cheese. I need to come up with an acronym or something. <laughs> cheese steak ladder something match. Easier. Last night, a lot of the competitors were in their first ever ladder match. That's right. In this situation, we have some individuals in their first scramble match. It's just not as common of a match configuration in New Japan. Very true. So this is uh, new territory for a lot, especially the competitors from Japan. So it'll be interesting to see how they handle this environment. So far, everyone's kind of trying to find their place in the ring. So I was saying a moment ago, there's a lot of bodies involved. What will you see? Three ways and oh. four ways, and there are eight men right now just trying to gain positioning. This is almost like an eight-man lockup of sorts. It's almost like a scrum or a huddle. That's a sports reference, Tom. I know. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> and now look at this. Everybody squaring off again. 
No count outs, no disqualifications. First man again, pinfall or submission in the ring. Uh -oh. Will we declare the winner? Everybody doubles back towards their corner. Oh, and hard to the outside. A lot of similar ideas here. And now oh. everybody goes flying oh. to the outside. Oh, and Kevin Knight went head first in the concrete, Vader. I, I think he did. Pop right back up. Kevin Knight shaking it off. As you mentioned before, Matt, he was put through the ringer last night at the hands of Clark Connors and speedball Mike Bailey. Oh, boy. Man. Whoa. Somewhere Rockstar Spud is loving this. <laughs> now Mao squaring off with Rich Swan. Wow, who brings a very definite vibe to the ring, oh. but also great athleticism. There's a cover. This is smart here by Swan. Whoa. A bridge out there by Mao. But again, this early on in the matchup with the ring relatively empty. If you can go for a pinfall attempt, it's a good idea. It's probably your best time, but like, just as that happened there, Mao already out of the picture. Now, yo, into the fray here. Keep eight different eyes in the back of your head. Drop toe hold there by Yo. Oh! Drop kick right to the side of the head. Yo, someone who, as we mentioned, has been extremely successful as a tag competitor. In a little bit different environment here as Kevin Knight enters the fray. Got a win uh, last night alongside Matt Seidel against Skywalker and Bushi. Kevin Knight. How impressive was he this past Thursday night against Moose? Oh, what a splash. Hold on, he might win this thing here, and a Good. kick out by Yo, that was 2.9. I mean, his match taking former world champion Moose to the limit, I and mean, we talked already enough about his incredible, heart-wrenching performance. Literally 24 hours ago, the sky's the limit for this kid, Ooh. and he'll reach it knowing how high he can jump. <laughs> Now Saban diving into the fray. Saban is going to square off with Samurai Del Sol this coming Thursday night on Access TV. And days later this coming Sunday at Emergence Live in Toronto will engage in a huge eight-man tag team matchup in Impact. And we get a chance to get his hands once again on Leo Rush as part of that matchup. Oh. Missile drop kick there by Saban, and into the fray comes Frankie Kazarian, the battle of the futures revisited here in Philadelphia. Back to the OG X Division innovators here, applying their craft now on the New Japan stage. Oh, oh look at this, the leg drop off of the ropes, classic Frankie Kazarian. Watch out, here comes Bushi representing LIJ. Puts up the boot. Oh, drop kick out of the corner. There goes Kazarian to the outside. And as soon as one's out, one is in. El Desperado now in tow. Three men in the ring. Oh, went for a cutter and got it. As you mentioned before, Desperado and Mao very effective as a tag team last night. I talked about Desperado wanting to embrace all aspects of pro wrestling, helping out someone like Mao. It clearly, it's carried over. Look at this, even a handshake extended here. Oh! oh! Distraction punch to the chin. Desperado, quite honestly, should have seen that coming. It's, Mao did it last night in the same match. It's the oldest trick in the book. It's schoolyard tactics. I love it. I tried to do that to Kenta earlier. It didn't work. <laughs> That's a terrible idea. Oh, now look at this. Oh, wait. Oh, everybody's getting involved. Oh, it's Saban on the bottom of the pile. Wait, Kevin Knight snatching an ankle lock. Oh, to the oh eyes. Oh, my God. To the eyes. There's no disqualification here. Bushi just looking for who he can try to submit. Just looking for an opening here. And now after the leg of, of Yo. Selecting a limb and also using the ropes for a little extra leverage. And the referee trying to get Bushi off of Yo. Everything disintegrates. Using the rope for leverage was the least outrageous part of that yes. whole scenario. Desperado is at the bottom of the whole pile, and he's he's asking why Bushi wasn't helping him out, and now <laughs> everyone is piling on. Yeah, he, he could have broken up any one of those submissions, but instead. And, and we talked about Bushi usually being the man who can part of LIJ who can work with anybody, but yes. tonight nobody having any patience for Bushi. Yeah, the field has really turned on Bushi in an ugly way tonight in Philadelphia. Oh, it's like a Giants fan at an Eagles game. But finally gets out of the out of Dodge. I'll take your word for it on that one. At the last minute is now, uh, they just switched their target oh. to Rich Swan now. Oh. And now Swan, Swan's saying enough of that. I got to get out of this. 
Oh! Mao and Desperado take it back control. All right, they're still. They're Maybe, okay, a little bit of, a, of an apology there, a little bit of a redirect. I'm trying to get Swan up on the top turnbuckle here. Temporary alliance. And this does my heart good. I like the oh. team of Mao and Desperado. As we see two of the X Division OGs teaming up. Oh, uh, wait a minute, Casero oh. saving the impact originals topple everyone. But Knight, Knight up top. Oh, the hang time by Knight. There's the cover on Swan. Oh, and it's broken up there by Yo. And it's hard to come up with a strategy in a chaotic match like this, but if I'm Kevin Knight, possibly trying to work through some injuries from the night before, that's his best plan is just take advantage of an opening. Oh. And that is also exactly what Yo is doing right now, but Knight getting back on his feet. Cartwheel escape. Oh, knee right to the face there of Kevin Knight. And now Knight, oh my goodness, with a sky high of sorts. Here's the cover, the kick up by Yo. And now Frankie with a chicken wing. That's right on tonight. Knight quickly, he knew what was coming there. Didn't want Kazarian to get it fully locked in. Oh, oh shiver there by Kaz. And look out, Cutter! <laughs> Slingshot Cutter. Abushi into the, excuse me, El Desperado into the fray. Oh, beautiful spine buster. Bushi hitting anything that moves, and now Rich Swan. What a kick. Here comes Mao. The Michinoku oh. Tornado connects, but Swan. And oh, Whoa, wait he wants a the cutter. Second. Mao with a counter. Down goes Swan. Mao has been electric in this match. Oh, kick right to the face by Bushi. This one is not stopping. Oh. Oh. Maybe right to the back of the neck. That's the DNV for you. Put away a lot of people with that one. Oh, kick to the head. Saban thinking about going for two for one at the same time. Oh, and now he could get it. He could get it. Trying to corral oh. Knight and he gets both men. Saban staying on. Yo, got him up on the shoulders. Cradle shock. Is that it? Saban wins the scramble. Saban gets a win to kick off the night. Can his Motor City Machine Gun counterpart, the Impact World Champion, Alex Shelley, turn away Hiroshi Tanahashi and bookend this night for the guns here in Philly. Man, I, I don't want to get braggadocious, Tom, but counting the kickoff, this is now three matches You're right. in, in, in the favor of Impact Wrestling. Could be a good night. But, oh, oh the mist! The black mist! And with me here as the representative from New Japan Pro Wrestling, I, I, I approve of that. I normally wouldn't <laughs> encourage that behavior, but you know, you really had to rub it in, Matt. You really had to rub it I, in. I, I know, I, I feel like I, I brought that upon saving. I'm sorry. Although you are here straddling both I, 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 I the fence well. rider. Let's not right. kid ourselves. I play both sides, so I always come out on top. <laughs> the official tending to Chris Saban. Frankie Kazarian is well here checking on Saban. You maybe wouldn't know it from this result here, but yeah, Chris Saban with the win, getting back on the winning side of things, and you know that also has to be a message to Leo Rush. And we will see the X Division champion Leo Rush in action later on tonight. Saban gets the win, but can he regroup on his way towards his match with Samurai Del Sol this Thursday night on Access TV? And a huge eight-man tag at Emergence this coming Sunday in Toronto. Right now we're bracing for another matchup. It's TMDK versus Team Impact. New Japan Pro Wrestling is hosting two of its biggest shows ever. Presenting Windy City Ride on Friday, April 12th at the Wind Trust Arena in Chicago. And Resurgence, May 11th at the Toyota Arena in Ontario, California. Don't miss your chance to see the stars of New Japan Pro Wrestling live. Tickets available at Ticketmaster. 
NJ PW Academy at the LA Dojo. Looking to start your journey or add to your existing knowledge? NJPW Academy is the place to be. There's only one place to get New Japan strong, and that's the NJPW Academy. Head to NJPW1972.com for more information. I want you for NJPW Academy. All right, keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce, where's this one going? Parts unknown. Tokon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. The meaning of life is to find your gift. Shell shock! Could it be? At long last, it's Shelly's time! I can do anything that I absolutely will into existence, including reinventing the wheel for my generation! Alex Shelley, the reigning Impact World Champion, is considered one of the greatest wrestlers for nearly two decades. The face of a generation, now the face of Impact Wrestling! His challenger, Hiroshi Tanahashi, the self-proclaimed master of the century, is regarded as one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. He has won dozens of championships in a career that spans three decades. One of the greatest IWGP Heavyweight Champions of all time. As he stepped into the ring with someone like this, the vibe changes, the energy rises. He was one of Alex Shelley's teachers in the early part of Shelley's career. Oi, 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 Tanasan. Uh, you were a big senpai to me for years when I was in New Japan Pro Wrestling, and I looked up to you because you're the ace. Well, guess what? I'm the Joker. I'm going to show you why now I'm the best in the world. Tonight, student turns teacher going up against his old master. Tonight, worlds collide. Legacies emerge. Kick things off with the ace. Someone who stands as a standard bearer for New Japan Pro Wrestling. The face of the company in many ways, an icon of the craft. And a man who knows the current Impact Wrestling World Champion very, very well. Hiroshi Tanahashi is the first person ever to challenge for the IWGP World Heavyweight title, the AEW World title, and the Impact World Championship in the same year. Tanahashi set to go one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever, mind you, with someone who he taught along the way in Japan, and that kindness was shown back at him by Shelley when Tanahashi first came to Impact Wrestling back in 2008. This is a match that has been building and building personally and professionally for so, so long. But now that Alex Shelley stands as Impact Champion, the stakes 
are as high as they can possibly get. For Tanahashi, a man who at this point in his career is trying to reestablish himself, has not had the results in things like the G1 that he wanted to, does not want to rely on that legacy I mentioned, that reputation. He's hoping a championship victory here tonight can boost his standing in the organization he calls home. It was earlier this summer at the Against All Odds event for Impact Wrestling that Alex Shelley finally climbed the mountain and won the big one, won the championship that's eluded him his entire career, the Impact World Championship. And since then, Ray Walt, he has set a blistering pace and proving himself to be the proverbial fighting champion. That's exactly the type of professional wrestler that Alex Shelley's been his entire career, all of those 20 plus years. He had no intention, of, no intention of once he got to the top of changing any of that. We talk about his history with Tanahashi, his early days touring over in New Japan Pro Wrestling, Tanahashi acting as a senpai of sorts, as a leader, as a coach. And then Shelly, we talk about it all the time, has gone on to do that for so many in professional wrestling. All of that comes to a head here tonight. And to reflect the gravity of this matchup, this occasion, the New Japan legend, as you can see in the back of your screen, Tiger Hattori in the ring for the championship for introductions as we get set for this main event here at Multiverse United 2, for whom the bell tolls, Shelly and Tanahashi for the Impact World title. A very high stakes situation. As you see here, Tiger Hattori taking the championship, the championship belt from Alex Shelley, showing it to everyone here again. Tiger making his career as a referee in New Japan Pro Wrestling, now acting as an international liaison between the U.S. and Japan, bringing us great events like this to U.S. soil, presiding over these ceremonies, if you will. Well, and I'm, I'm trying to hear if the 2300 Arena has chosen a favorite in this match. I, don't I mean, know. It, seems, it seems pretty divided or maybe everyone is cheering for everyone because these are two, whoa! Both guys uh, showing off a little bit, trying to get that early emotional mental advantage here, but I, I don't mean to be cheesy, I, but this might be a both. The, well. Billy took it out of my mouth. Billy took the words out of my mouth, a both these guys kind of scenario. There's the bell, this matchup is underway. 16 years of history behind the Impact World Championship, first captured by the Impact Hall of Famer, the legend Kurt Angle. So far, in terms of Japanese wrestlers who attempted to capture the title, Naito, Ishii, Kenta, and Kushida have all tried, but none have been successful tonight. Tanahashi become the, could become the first ever Japanese-born Impact World Champion. 
I mean, I got to admit, if I'm speaking personally, Tanahashi looks pretty deadly doing it right now, if you ask me. Absolutely. Yeah, I can, I can pull back my curtain a tiny little bit here. We're at Multiverse United, too. Multiverse United, Mike Bailey, a close personal friend of mine, took on Hiroshi Tanahashi and afterwards was, was talking to me about the match and said, the ace is the ace. That is a professional wrestler embodied. And I think that says it all. And here's the thing I'm very curious about the early goings here. Tanahashi is going to enjoy a significant size and power advantage against Shelly. I understand Tanahashi a little bit older than Shelly, but still, that power is there. That athleticism is still there. We saw it in that aforementioned match against Bailey. Absolutely. But on the other side of that, Alex Shelley has made a long and prolific career out of not necessarily being the biggest dog in the fight. This is not uncharted waters for him. And here's what my, I'm really interested about. We talk about Shelly all the time, especially in these high profile situations. I think some call him Salty Shelly. He can get a little nasty. He can get, start to bend a rule or two. He can really start to try to hurt somebody. Will he take that same attitude against his former friend, his former mentor, in Tanahashi, who tosses the guitar to the crowd? Shelly, what, what do you what do you think you see on his face there? It looks a little a little bit like frustration to me, and it's a little early on I was just for Shelly to, to start feeling that. Well, think about it. the first time these two ever squared off was in a tag team matchup 15 years ago in Impact Wrestling. Fast forward a number of years, they were tag team partners in New Japan. Tanahashi literally, and right now, <laughs> literally taking Shelly under his wing. So there's got to be an aspect of Shelly that's trying to think as opposed to react. What do you believe? Yeah, I, Shelly, again, he normally is that more a little bit more reactionary. He listens to what his opponent is doing physically, mentally, and he tries to react to that. Here, I think he's a little, maybe, I want to stop myself from saying thrown by the gravity of the situation, by, by all these long tell told stories between these two. It's out of respect, though, for what Tanahashi is capable of. This is a game of chess. Very, very much to one, oh. one move at a time. Shelly very calculated with these strikes to fight his way out. Tanahashi, one shot, and Shelly back down to the mat. It's going to, yeah, this is going to be very deliberate as it is so far, I think. That's how much of this match is going to proceed. I think there's just going to be a point, oh. though. For these two guys, again, I say it all the time, so much love and respect between them. But at the end of the day, the bell rings. These guys are both top athletes at what they do and are willing to do a lot to get the win. And Shelley saw an opening there with the left arm along the rope, and he took advantage, the knee right to the point of the elbow of Tanahashi. Oh. Again, Shelly kind of taking his time, really feeling this whole process out. Tanahashi trying to drop, trying to counter at every turn. This one, I feel like it's really going to be a slow burn here. Uh, it begs the question of Shelly. What are you going to do when you get into the deep? Oh, the deep water against Tanahashi. But doing this early, targeting a body part, trying to take this away from Tanahashi early is very smart. And we know how intelligent Alex Shelley is, especially when it comes to breaking down a body part. We talk about his background in physiology and everything he knows about the human body and how it's put together, taking that, adding that to his repertoire. And again, to call back to what you said, Tanahashi is in the kind of the later stages of his career, faced a lot of injuries, injuries that Shelley can take advantage of. And Tanahashi rushes into the corner. Shelley able to get the boot up in time. Tanahashi going to try again. Shelly, wait, this time the ace. A little bit smarter, got Shelly in a bad, oh, bad place. I talked about Shelly getting nasty. Oh, Tanahashi here turning it up to 11. The left knee smashed into the steel post and then the apron. And perhaps that's in the playbook and the strategy of the ace here. I talked about Shelly when we know to manipulate joints, break things down like oh. that. 
maybe Tanahashi sees his chance to get down, get nasty, and do that exact thing to Alex Shelley. Well, and as we know, Shelley has a huge repertoire of submissions. Tanahashi, though, really likes that Texas Cloverleaf, and breaking down the knees, breaking down oh, the legs will oh definitely assist in that. That is, if, if the time does not expire here, we have a count-out possibility. Already at 10 to 20 count implemented here in New Japan Pro Wrestling. If you haven't watched before, but you still got to be careful. Not how you want a championship matchup to end. Title can only change hands via pinfall or submission in the ring. Champion's advantage, of course, to Shelly, and now using the top rope here against Tanahashi. Well, and that is something that Tanahashi will need to keep in mind because in New Japan, titles do change hands, potentially. Oh, one. oh my God. Oh. oh. On a count out, he oh. needs to make sure that he plays by the impact rules. Alex Shelley really turning this around, but I don't like the way he's paying attention to his knee there. You see, you see him shaking his head there a little bit. He is feeling it. Tanahashi's assault earlier on, very effective. And Shelly rolls inside. He's going to reset the count here. Wants to take advantage of the space outside the ring and also buy himself some time here with some damage under the left knee. But notice he doesn't roll into the ring to take that count out, to even try it or to get that bleeding. Absolutely. Ring. Takes a couple seconds, but now continues the assault here on Tanahashi. And it looks like Shelly has really zeroed in on the arm of the ace. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh! Oh my God, and using the barricade. And what I tell you about Shelly, not afraid to get nasty, friend or foe. And if Alex Shelly is thinking Border City Stretch, he's gonna start picking apart the arm, the shoulder, the limbs of Tanahashi. Rolls inside, resets the count. 20 count by New Japan rules. Does Shelly have his foot on the hair of the ace? That Believe is unforgivable. Us. Oh! Back to the left uh, arm. Right to the point of the elbow of the ace. But Shelly is still <laughs> wincing anytime he puts pressure on that left leg. But Tom, I think you were right that the pace of this match slowing is a deliberate choice on the part of Alex Shelley to give him as much recovery time as possible. Those shots to the left knee by Tanahashi using the steel post just hit it the right way. Uh oh. Oh, he picked up the right leg so he could go after the plant leg, the injured left leg. So smart by Tanahashi. Tana back up on his feet. And now to the injured left leg. Mm. And Tanahashi pouring it on here in the corner. And look at that, Shelly's left leg tied up in the bottom two oh. rows. Prime target for Tanahashi. Once again, we are seeing a very generous interpretation of the rules of the counts here, just lending to the stakes of a match like this. Tanahashi keeping Shelly trapped in the ropes, so about like the 4.9. Considering the gravity of this matchup, the impact of New Japan coming together for Multiverse United, too, you can understand a little leniency in that department. Really, Shelly is struggling to put any sort of weight on the left knee. At this point, he's just got to hope oh. that he can do enough damage to the arm of Tanahashi before Tanahashi can do more critical damage to Shelly's own leg. Shots to the left arm here by Shelly. Tanahashi trying to use his power, but he can't break free of the grip of Shelly, considering his damaged arm is at play there. And Ooh. now Shelly takes Tanahashi off his feet. A sudden burst there from Alex Shelly. Gives him yet another couple of seconds here to try to see, to think, to plan what he can do on this leg that just keeps getting targeted. You can hear those chants, let's go ace. 
Oh. Shelly took a second to look out to the crowd, and now Zero's back in on Tanahashi. Tanahashi, perhaps getting a little emotional there, rushed at him. Oh, sliced bread! Close quarter, presses the shoulders down to retain the title, no! Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, going for the Border City stretch, pulling back the injured he's left got arm, it. and oh, he's this got is it. it! Border City stretch applied here on Tanahashi! Got it locked in. Now they are kind of towards the corner of the ring. If Tanahashi can crawl a little bit, he might be able to get to the ropes. I think Shelly just realized how close they are. You can see he's starting to try to reposition himself a little bit, but oh. Tanahashi out from behind. Very smart by Tanahashi. He gets his legs to the bottom rope, and Shelly holds until the count of four out of five. That's a veteran instinct there. Ring awareness from Tanahashi. Most wrestlers. When they're in that kind of pain, can't think straight, just reach for the ropes in front of them. Tanahashi using his longer legs to reach for the ropes behind him. And I gotta say, it's rare for me to see Alex Shelley slip up like that, apply his submission so close to the ropes. That just speaks to the amount of pain that he must be in, looking to end this as quickly as possible, any way possible. Oh! oh. Forearm shots with the one good arm here. Uh-oh. Oh, and Hyper extending the injured left arm. Oh, wait a minute, Tanahashi grabbing wait, wait, wait. the left knee. Oh my God, using the rope there. And I know, Tom, it's kind of funny because we see, of course, Alex Shelley can break you down any sort of body part, but we do know he loves to go for things like that dragon screw on a lot of his opponents. Go to the knees, and here Tanahashi is taking that lesson, teaching his student one more time a lesson, a trial by combat. Oh! oh. Drop kick right to the kneecap. Tanahashi seemingly a singular focus on the legs. Maybe Hold on. the you Texas Cloverleaf. You mentioned it, Veda, the Cloverleaf. Can he roll over Shelly? Trying to get him onto his belly here. Cloverleaf! Oh. And now it's going to be Alex Shelly's turn oh. to scramble for the ropes, maybe. Oh, I don't know if Tanahashi can get that hold on as tightly as he would like to. Yeah, the damage to the left arm apparently has been done enough that he can't lift up the lower half of Shelly for the Cloverleaf, had to relent. And you have to imagine that was part of the strategy of Alex Shelly, not only the Border City stretch, but to take away the, some of that power, take away that Cloverleaf. He now sees that it was indeed effective. Oh! Going right back to the leg, but it, it looks like now we're, we're at a bit of an impasse, I mean, Hey, what do you do when your usual offense just isn't going to be as effective? It worried down, oh. getting towards a war of attrition of sorts. Oh, the that arm, works. the arm of Tanahashi, the leg of Shelly, what gives first? And Tanahashi picking Ooh. up the injured leg with a good right leg available. Shelly and Tanahashi are down. Shelly once again trying to work out the kinks in that leg. Just moving it back and forth, hoping a little bit of extra blood flow can bring some motion back to the ocean, ladies and, and gentlemen. And you know, I, I always think about this whenever Alex Shelley is in the ring with his background, with his knowledge of, of physical therapy, like he knows when something's going bad. 100%. And the question is, how does he pivot? How does he change direction here in this matchup against Tanahashi? Same thing's got to be going through the mind of the ace. Went for the clover leaf. Oh. The left arm just didn't hold up. Now, the moment rising for both men. Find their way to their feet, just slugging it out back and forth. Mano y mano, teacher versus student. Big forearm shots here by Tanahashi and Shelly. Oh. A body shot there and an uppercut and down goes Shelly. Tanahashi back in control after a flurry. You can see Shelly trying to pull himself up by the tights, but oh, wait a second. Back to the left arm. Hyper extending the elbow. Back to the same strategy, back to the well for Shelly here. Up onto the shoulders, trying to get the larger man up onto his shoulders. Ooh. Oh, twist and shout. But look at Shelly. Shelly's getting back up to his feet. Tanahashi welcoming it. Oh, Another and again, one. another twist and shout. 
a third. Tanahashi knows the gravity of the situation, knows just how tough the Impact World Champion is. But now Tanahashi trying to pick up some spin oh. here. There's a sling blade delivered to the champion. Do we have a new World Champion in Impact and a kick out? Uh oh, Tanahashi pointing up high. Fly, fly, flow. Beta, you asked if the Cloverleaf's not there. What is Tanahashi gonna do? Ta Tanahashi gonna do? Going up top here. It's got Shelly down. High Ooh. fly. No, nobody there. Shelly saw it coming out of the way just in time. And that is a big amount of impact. Big ball for Tana oh, there. Oh my God. Knee right to the back of the head. Shelly's not done. Ripcord clothesline. Cover. Is that it? Oh, what a kick out by Tanahashi. Too, too close. Frustration continuing to build behind the eyes of Alex Shelley. Perhaps he thought this would be, if not easier, just over oh. sooner. And look out. Oh, wait a minute, look at her shell shock. And now Tanahashi trying to lock up Shelley. Oh, Ooh. trap the arms, German suplex, cover kick out. Another close one for Shelley there. Just in the nick of time. Shelly stumbling back up to his feet. Oh, wait a second. Reverses Tanahashi, though. Holds on another oh. sling blade. Was held onto by the injured left arm by Shelly and found a way to counter. And now Tanahashi's going up top here in Philadelphia. Oh, and Shelly back up to his feet. That's again, that's the second time Shelly has seen the high fly flow coming. He knows that if Tanahashi can hit that, it is more than likely it is over for Alex Shelly. He has to stop it at all costs. Oh, now look at this, going to the left arm. Oh! Then you're straight trying to hyper extend it. All while sitting here perched on the top rope. Oh! Straight hand butts to the ace. Oh man, look at this, look at this, Shelly trying to get Tanahashi up on his shoulders. Oh my God. Oh, look at this. Oh, air raid crash from the top. Is it enough? Shelly oh. cannot turn away Tanahashi. The eighth, the ace still breathes. The ace keeps going. And the body language on Alex Shelley, he thought for sure this was over, but now he's gonna end it. Super kick to the face of Tanahashi. Shelley barely able to even drag Tanahashi back up. Oh, now trying to set up Shell Shot. Got it! Cover! Shelley beats Tanahashi! The student beats the teacher. The face of the generation defeats the ace. Shelly came into this with something to prove to his former mentor. And I think beyond a shadow of a doubt, he has done just that. And the respect shown here to Alex Shelley. They're flanked by representatives from New Japan Pro Wrestling. Again, the gravity, the importance of this situation. As Alex Shelley has proven yet again why he is one of the best professional wrestlers on the planet. Much of that courtesy to the teachings, to the honor of people like Tanahashi.
But tonight, one more time, is Alex Shelley's night. And just a, a testament to the war we just saw. Shelley immediately pulling that knee pad down. I mean, he is still in recovery mode, even as he celebrates a brutal, brutal fight. Alex Shelley, though, still Impact World Champion. A career-defining moment for Alex Shelley. And now he must look forward to the coming days. This Thursday on Access TV, his match against Brian Myers is now officially for the Impact World Championship. And then just days later, this coming Sunday at Emergence Live in Toronto, Shelley teams up with Saban and Kushida and Josh Alexander to take on Bully Ray, Moose, Myers, and Leo Rush. Thank you all so much for joining us tonight live on Fight TV. For Vena Scott and Matthew Raywall, I'm Tom Hannafin. Impact and New Japan Pro Wrestling have been proud to present Multiverse United 2, for whom the bell tolls.